use uh, variables, arrays, strings, slices, functions in Golang. Uh, now today we'll see how to use errors. Okay, how the error handling happens. So for error handling, uh, Go provides errors package. Okay. Uh, in this error package, you can uh, define the error. Uh, using this error package, you can uh, define the error, and that uh, you can use in the different business logics. Okay. So we'll try to uh, see the example of errors uh, with the help of an example. So let's define a function. I'll call it calculate, and this will uh, accept a value val of type integer and uh, this will uh, return a uh, integer value and error okay now uh, let's uh, define this so here um, i'll do basic thing so if uh, val is uh, less than zero then what i want i want uh, to uh, return uh, uh, error uh, I'll return errors uh, errors dot new here you can define the whatever values is you can uh, you can uh, return the business uh, error so in this case this is this since this is just for example so I am returning a uh, negative less than uh, zero values not allowed here okay and else uh, what I'll do uh, else I'll uh, return um, I'll just return a uh, val uh, into val okay so I'm returning a uh, val into uh, val and uh, this is the integer uh, Okay. Uh, okay. Why this errors? <laughs> so uh, I'm returning errors dot new, uh, and uh, this will be. Uh, and if there is no error, then I'll return uh, nil. So here the logic says, uh, if the value is less than zero, then return this error. Uh, if the value is not less than zero, then return the uh, calculate. Um, return the calculated value now let's uh, call this so calling is also important see uh, how it's called so here i will be result comma error so since there are two values can be returned value and error so we need to uh, and uh, as we know that go can return more than one value so uh, let's call this uh, calc and uh, let's uh, pass minus five okay now uh, we'll check if uh, error is not equal to nil so nil is equal to null here okay so if uh, this is uh, not null means there is some error uh, which is return so fmt dot print ln uh, i'll return uh, uh, i'll uh, print just uh, error okay uh, else uh, what i'll do i'll uh, print the uh, result okay so that's how we can uh, send the error and this error uh, can be catched here and uh, I can check the error if it is not null then I can print the error okay and this is the same thing that you can do in your uh, real case so if I'm returning uh, if I'm sending minus 5 which uh, so this value returns true and uh, due to which error is getting returned from here and I can see negative value less than 0 value is not allowed if I'll change the value here, so for example, instead of uh, minus 5, if I'll uh, use 5, then uh, I should get the 25 as the output because I'm just calculating this value. Okay, and error is nil. So this, so that's how you can uh, define the, uh, through the error. Uh, this is how you can catch the error. This is how you can check if there is an error and print it. Okay, so today we have seen uh, the uh, how we can uh, use the error handling, how we can do the error handling in Go, Go programming language. If you have any question related to this, do write in the comment section. Uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, if you think the videos are helpful, do like the video and subscribe to the channel.